really straight stem, large bud. We're usually looking for something that's like an inch or more for bud diameter, so definitely a grade one there. It's been kind of interesting. I didn't think I would really be able to do this at Utah State. I kind of thought I was gonna go and, you know, attend the classes and learn a lot, but I didn't think I would have as much of a hands-on opportunity to really experience the type of career I wanted to be in. Um, originally, I just wanted to do cut flower farming. That was my dream, and I've been exposed to that, and I love it still, but kind of seeing the extension aspect of it and a few different other sides to it as well, I'm kind of branching out in other ways that I didn't think I would. So it's been really rewarding to kind of chase my dream, but also see others that have become my new dream too. And I've been able to work with cut flowers mainly, but I've also worked on orchard crops and vegetables and fruits with the different professors as well. So I really feel like I could work in kind of that horticultural, small farms, urban farming kind of world and just do extension in that part. It's really interesting. I love it. love helping the growers. So I was trying to find things that were applicable to our kind of our climate, our growing environment. Um, and there's hardly anything out there. It's mostly far east or west coast, like really rainy, humid environments. Um, they just don't experience the same challenges that we do. And I'm just able to kind of talk with them about problems they're facing or what they want to do with their own farm with cut flowers or anything. And just kind of being able to see how that's progressed throughout Utah. I think there was maybe just a handful of cut flower farmers when we started doing this. And over the past five years, there's somewhere between like 50 and 60 cut flower farmers. It's just rewarding to kind of work with something that's growing and just to see the change, even over a few weeks, just to watch these grow. I love it. There's just something about plants that's fascinating to me. But um, yeah, I think if you're interested in anything plant related, Utah State's a great place. I mean, they have ag programs or the horticulture side of things and just really great professors that are willing to work with you and kind of educate you on um, how you can grow professionally, personally, everything.